Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts and learn data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on Strata Scratch regarding find the base pay for police captains, both using Python as well as MySQL, and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is easy, and this question has been asked in City of San Francisco interviews. Okay, let's jump right in. The question reads, find the base pay for police captains, output the employee name along with the corresponding base pay so basically we are given a you know data frame called san francisco public salaries and expected output is a pandas data frame with two columns employee name and their base pay uh, let's look at the data frame as uh, san francisco public salary so you have a lot of uh, you know columns employee name title base pay etc etc overtime pay right uh, so you have all that so basically, uh, so this list is long. So let's see, like, uh, you know, if there are the word police or captain, you know, uh, something like that in, in the job title, right? Because uh, we need to find out the base pay for the police captains. So what we can do is from this data frame, right? So from this, uh, the column, which column is it? So job title, right? So job title, we can just find out the unique entries in this, right? So unique, uh, let me run this. So if you look at it, right, so what all do we have? Uh, we have, do we see police or captain here? Uh, yeah, deputy sheriff. So it might seem like a police captain, but actually they are not, right? Uh, so if you look at that, right? So yeah, uh, we have a captain, right? And uh, it belongs to police department. So what we can do is we can, you know, and since this we are dealing with text, right? So it is better to always, whenever you are dealing with text, convert everything to one particular case, right? So preferably lower case, so that you know if there is any anomaly in any of the rows, you know that captain is miss uh, is you know spelled with a capital or a small alphabet right so we, we don't you know exclude them in the output so what we do is we can apply boolean indexing basically right so we need to make sure that the string job title right contains the word captain in it right so what we can do is you know we can remove this and then uh, perform a boolean indexing so sf underscore public underscore salaries right and then the column right the column called job title right first thing we should do is we should convert it to lowercase but lower is the method of string object so we need to write str dot lower right so this has converted everything to lower and then what we need to do is we need to also make sure uh, that you know it contains the word captain in it so we write str dot contains again because contains is a method of you know string object so contains what word captain right uh, okay so now let me run this let's see what we are getting so now you have all the columns belonging to wherever the job title has captain in it, right? But we are not required to keep all the columns. We are only required to keep employee name and base pay. So we can basically pass a list, you know, of columns that we are required to keep. So we can write employee name and then secondly, the base pay, right? Okay, let me run this. Let's see what we are getting. So now if you see employee name and base pay, these are the two columns that were required and our output looks exactly like the expected output. Let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases. So everything is green and this is how we do it. Now let's look at how the corresponding code looks like in MySQL. And if you look at it, the question is same, right? Expected output is same as well. Uh, the If you inquire about this table, SF public salary, same, you know, columns, rows, and all the values, etc. So here again, what we can do is from this table called San Francisco Public Libraries, we are only required to keep those rows where the job title, but again, like we should, uh, you know, convert the text into lowercase for the reasons that I described just before, right? So we we can write lower of the you know column called job title is like right so this is like captain right and anything can be before or after captain so does not matter so we can write you know captain uh as long as there is a captain in it so it it means that they are, they belong to police you know police captain because we inquired about the unique values of this job title and found out that you know this table has whenever there is a captain it basically belongs to police captain right so once we have this what we are only required to keep those you know two columns so we write employee name and base pay okay let me run this let's see what we are getting 
Okay, so now if you look at it, our output is again same as expected output. Let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases. So everything is green and this is how we do it. So not a very difficult question. All we had to do was, you know, from the data frame or table call San Francisco public libraries, we only kept those rows where the, uh, you know, job title, the lowercase job title belongs to or contains the word captain in it and once we had those rows we just you know kept our output limited to two different columns so this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or a more efficient way to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and until then i will see you guys in the next video